What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, I am Aditya Mulukuri, the host of Tats Podcast, the great future for your bright future. Today I would like to say you the Chinese money wisdom from Chinese ancient faith, the Dao of dollars. Yes. Taoism, a religious religious tradition with roots in China dating back more than 2000 years, is undoubtedly undoubtedly the major world religion least understood by westerners. There are dozens of reasons for that. but the primary one is that the synsectic syn- nature of chinese religion practice tends to blur the lines between buddhism confucianism taoism and etc when you meet a westerner westerner who claims to be a taoist you are likely to find they are really more of a confused buddhist or a spiritual inclined confucianist another problem is westerners tends to embrace the philosophical aspects of taoism primarily by reading the ancient text called tao te ching or or popular works like the tao of pu while rejecting the religious aspects that mark the lives of millions of folks in asia even the way we spell things causes confusion older folks tend to prefer the t spellings seen in the weight guides systems as that tao younger folks are more likely to use the d spellings of han yu pinyin system the dao But there's the thing despite the difficulties and confusion associated with trying to understand the Taoism it's worth the effort the tradition is filled with teachings and insights into every aspect of human existence even personal finance so let's look at three pieces of the Taoist or Taoist I am not a linguist nor are you so let's not get hung up on spelling traditional and what they have to say about money for your information you can find more thoughts on the Tao at at my podcast episodes in the past things number 1 greed is not good taoism takes its name from the tao te ching an ancient text of sometimes sometimes cryptic techniques broken into short easily memorized passages the legend is the other was a man called lao zu or lao se or lao zi but there's a some debate among scholars about how many people had a hand in the text and whether or not lao zu was a real person another crucial text in taoism is chang chu an often funny collection of allegorical ele- tales and poetry the oft repeated repeated tale of the man who woke up confused after dreaming he was a butterfly comes from the chao zu chang zu both the text contains cautionary teachings related to the pursuit of wealth consider this there is no greater misfortune than greed Do not raise after riches do not risk your life for success or you let slip the heaven with you number 2 frugality is central to enlightenment central to understanding taoism are the basic virtues known as three 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 treasures compassion frugality and humility which first appear in chapter 67 of the tao te ching it is the second of the treasures called jian in chinese that is most closely associated with the money issues it can be translated as modern modernization economy simplicity or fragility and is often explained through the taoist metaphor of pu or uncraved wood at the risk of completely misinterpreting what pu implies let's say the taoism teaches the way to find truth to truth is to fast cast off unnecessary encumbrances like selfish desires for profits the earliest forms of taoism just like the earliest forms of buddhism or christianity and the modern secular practice of minimalism advocate for a simple life that provides room for contemplation and celebrates simple pleasures number 3 you can't take it with you taoism like all the world's major religions has changed over time and in the centuries of the, the early taoist texts were published things changed dramatically the worships of deities the emergences of a priesthood and the practice of religious rituals all become central to taoism in asia For Westerners who tend to see Taoism as an ancient philosophy rather than a modern day religion, the elaborate rituals of modern Taoism can be bewildering. On the surface, the burning of joss paper is said to be a way to provide for the needs to those in the afterlife. It can also be interpreted as a way to emphasize that life and wealth is temporary, a way of reminding people that you can't take it with you. Burning joss paper, in other words, is another way of expressing the religious and spiritual contradictions represented by money money is what you need yet money points away from the truth it is saying goes 
a necessary evil but a requirement and hindrance in the life and that is something that all of us east and the west religions and philosophical should understand trying to think different about how you finance so this is today's episode hope i can get some value added content for you thank you for listening i am aditya mulkuri the host of tats podcast signing off peace